Really large uterine fibroids are very, very difficult to do with traditional laparoscopic surgery in terms of removing the tumors as well as minimizing the amount of bleeding that happens during the surgery. But this is much better accomplished with robotic surgery. Like I mentioned with endometriosis, dealing with scar tissue from previous surgeries. So for example, with, with the rise of C-sections that we're seeing, when we're doing surgery on patients, we found that they've had multiple surgeries before, including C-sections, which can result in some scar tissue. And the robot makes it much easier to deal with this scar tissue and not have to just jump to an open surgery. And obesity is becoming a much larger problem in this country, as everybody knows. And that's also very difficult to do with laparoscopic surgery, but the robot does give us a lot more mobility and options with that as well. So in terms of some of the advantages, the incision side we've talked about, a long invisible scar versus three to five dime size incisions. In terms of the pain and discomfort, um, and this isn't just, this is proven not just in my experience, but also in, in actual published data, weeks of pain versus a few days of pain. Um, I'll tell you in my personal experience uh, with open surgery, patients are usually on narcotics for about two to three weeks to control their pain. With uh, robotic surgery, I've had a few patients not even use any narcotics at all, just over-the-counter Tylenol or ibuprofen. And patients who have needed narcotics, I haven't had anyone use them for more than one to one and a half weeks. In terms of how long you stay in the hospital, three to seven days for an open surgery. I have here written one to two days being conservative. Realistically, a lot of the patients go home the same day, and I'd say 90% of them go home the next day. It's very rare for a patient to stay two days. In terms of the overall recovery for returning back to your normal routine and normal schedule, you're looking at anywhere from six to 12 weeks for open surgery versus one to three weeks for da Vinci surgery. In fact, I actually get a lot of phone calls from my patients. I tell them to wait two to four weeks before they're gonna resume normal activities like work and, um, and exercise, things like that. I actually get a lot of phone calls after four or five days saying, I feel great, can I resume my normal activity? And I have to, you know, sometimes you have to say, you feel good, but let's give those incisions a little bit more time to heal. But that's how fast people are recovering, and that's how good they feel. So this side's a little complicated. I'll just focus on the, on the most important information here. So this was taken from a center in Louisiana where a lot of laparoscopic surgery was being performed. Um, so before they adopted the robot, overall, they were only doing about 20% of their hysterectomies through an open abdominal incision. The rest they were doing laparoscopically. But what happened when they adopted the da Vinci technology? Well, their blood loss got cut in half, essentially. Their hospital days got reduced. The hospital, this is an interesting thing, the hospital stay actually seems to be shorter with robotic surgery than with laparoscopic surgery. And you would think that wouldn't be the case because you're still operating through tiny incisions. But what we find is when you're using the robot, because you're controlling the wrist at the end of the instrument, all of the movement is happening at the end of the instrument. With laparoscopy, the entire instrument is being moved all the time, which puts a lot of stress and strain and damage to that skin where the instrument's being inserted. So the pain seems to be quite a bit different. But here's the really important thing. Their, their overall rate of abdominal hysterectomies dropped from 20% to 4% after abducting the robotic technology. And once they got to their last 25 surgeries out of 100, so they got really good and adept at using it, their last 25 surgeries, not a single one had to be converted to an open abdominal surgery. If they did have to convert to an open abdominal surgery, it's because the uterus was really large. Before, if the uterus was about 350 grams, they had to convert to an open surgery versus probably about three or four times that with a robotic surgery. In terms of how long the surgery takes, a couple people have asked that. In their experience, it was taking about an hour and a half. When they first started using it, it took them a little bit longer, about two hours. But then by the time they got really good at it, it took the same, if not shorter, than laparoscopic surgery. In my personal experience, um, the first several cases that I did took between two and three hours on surgeries that normally took about one to two hours for me. But then by about the fourth or fifth surgery, I was down to under two hours for most simple surgeries. And that includes the, the setup time for the operating room and everything. So again, just to really summarize all the benefits of da Vinci surgery for, for gynecology. Um, again, we can treat really complex conditions that we couldn't do with, with, with laparoscopic surgery. Um, we get a lot more precise and efficient dissection. So one of the, the single biggest complication in gynecologic surgeries is damage to the urinary system, the bladder and, the, and the, the tubes connecting the kidneys to the bladder. 
those structures are very difficult to see and they're very, very close to the uterus and that's actually the most common complication is damage to those areas. But with those tiny instruments and with that high definition camera, we can really zoom in really closely to those structures, get them away from the uterus where they're safe and then do our surgery. Closing the top of the vagina after the hysterectomy has been done is a very fast and easy procedure with a robot compared to laparoscopic surgery. And again, as I mentioned, different types of patients that we couldn't treat before with laparoscopic surgery, whether they had larger uteruses or obesity or lots of adhesions or scar tissue, we can do these with the, with the robot technology now. In terms of hysterectomy itself, it's much easier to learn than conventional laparoscopic surgery. I help a lot of people with laparoscopic surgery and it's really, really difficult unless you're doing five or ten of these a week, which is very few people, it's very hard to get adept at it. Versus with the da Vinci, because all the movements are intuitive, you're not having to learn a completely opposite direction for everything you do, and your instruments are doing exactly what your hands are doing, it's much easier and much faster for surgeons to learn, and they become much better at it. So this is gonna allow more gynecologists to perform minimally invasive surgery. So we can get that 62% down to a lot lower as more and more people adopt it. And again, for the patients, we have a much shorter hospital stay, minimal pain and scarring, and a much quicker recovery and return to your normal activities, whether it's work or childcare or exercise or any of the normal, uh, normal activities that you can't normally go back to so quickly with other types of surgery. And again, with myomectomy, as we mentioned, it's very difficult to perform a um, minimally invasive approach. Laparoscopically, it's very difficult to do a myomectomy because you have very poor visualization. You can't move those instruments around, behind, and underneath those large tumors. And because of that, what I see often is, is a lot of times laparoscopic surgeries are attempted with these, but because there's so much damage done during the surgery, a lot of these women end up with a hysterectomy because of all the damage done to the uterus. So using this technology is actually going to enable more women to retain their uterus rather than have to lose their uterus during the course of the surgery, which allows many more people to preserve their fertility. I see a lot of patients in the office who come to me who tell me they end up having a hysterectomy at age 30 or 35 because they were told that their fibroids were just too big and they had to have a hysterectomy. And in a lot of cases, that's just simply not true. And again, it's those same benefits that we talked about with hysterectomy. With myomectomy, it's particularly important because a lot of the reason myomectomies are performed is because patients want to get pregnant and the, and the tumor is preventing them from doing so. When you have a faster approach, that also means a shorter time before starting to, to try to get pregnant again. And when you're age 35 or 40, every month is crucial. So having to wait three or four months to try to get pregnant versus being able to, to you know, to attempt pregnancy one or two months after surgery is a huge benefit. So in summary, it's becoming, rapidly is becoming the most effective and least invasive option for a lot of gynecologic surgeries. It's extremely safe and results in a lot fewer complications than other approaches. Another thing I didn't touch on today because I, I don't do these particular types of surgeries, but for gynecologic cancers, it's, the robot has completely transformed everything. Um, when you do cancer surgery, it's very extensive. You have to take a lot of samples all throughout the abdomen, and you also have to remove small amounts of tumor from all around the abdomen, which in the past required very, very extensive surgery, so those big incisions. And they're doing all of these with these small robotic incisions now, so the patients recover faster, which is so crucial because they can start their treatment afterwards, whether it's radiation or chemotherapy, and recover so much faster from all of that rather than having to wait three months to recover from their surgery when that tumor could be growing back and then go and do their chemotherapy and radiation therapy. If you would like more information in addition to the handouts that they have outside, um, the Scripps website has an excellent section on our robotic surgery program and then the Da Vinci company themselves have an excellent section that has a lot of video, patient testimonials and, and more information.